I want to talk about your new project, which is huge, on Hulu. Yes. It's called Woke. You are the lead actor here. It's your starring role. Tell yes. me everything you know so far. So the it's show is stuff a... we're not supposed to know. <laughs> uh, well, we are. I, we're being released. We're coming out in August. Oh, you also. are. Great. Yes, the, the cast is amazing. We've got uh, Rose McGyver from uh, iZombie. I, I we got Blake Anderson from Workaholics. Uh, T Murph, one of the funniest comedians. If you don't know him after this show, you will. You, you'd be selling out Madison Square Garden. This guy is so funny. Um, we got Cedric the Entertainer, Cat Williams, Eddie Griffin, Nicole Byers, Tony Hale, wow. Sam Richardson. The cast is sick. You know, the yeah. cast is, it's pretty dope. So the show That's essentially incredible. is about, it's about a guy named Keith Knight. He's a cartoonist, um, you know, based out of San Francisco. Um, and it's about his life in a, in, a, in, a, in a weird way. So he's one of those, he's a black guy who people don't, when they hear him or they see his work, they hear his voice, they go, oh, you don't, you don't sound like a black guy. And so uh, <laughs> that I, I've been getting that my whole life, you know? So, yeah. you know, I don't fit the, the stereotype sometimes of what people would, would associate black with. So yeah. you hear it often. So the show essentially is about his life and how one day something that happens to him Brokenness, if you will. Mm -hmm. But while that's happening, animated things are talking to him. So he's essentially going crazy. Um, wow. and, because it's live action and animation in right. one, a hybrid. Yeah. yeah, it's just like this and all of a sudden a thing will pop up and start talking to me or oh, wow. the wallpaper will come to life and start speaking. <laughs> and Yours is it, about to, by the looks of things. Oh, 100%. <laughs> um, these look like my DMs. Uh, no, uh, so uh, yeah, so that's what the show is about essentially. And um, it's just about one guy, like what do you do with this power that you have? to change the world, um, do you embrace the crazy and, and go for it? Or do you hide that crazy and not make a difference? So um, mm -hmm. it's, it, that's what the show's about. And, and I think everybody has that in them, you know what yeah. I mean, to speak up. Sometimes when you feel like it, if there's injustice or if you, if you see something you don't like, you don't wanna come off as crazy. Or if you have an idea for something, people are bashful or a little shy or, no, speak up. Like every opinion matters, you know, whether even politically, whether you're right, whether you're left, no matter what it is, if you have a conviction on something, if you truly believe that, like that's what's supposed to be what this country is about. So go ahead and speak on up. And that, that's what, yeah. um, that's what the show is about. Yeah. Wow. No, it sounds amazing. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, being the, the lead on this show, do you, do you have a different approach at all? I, does it feel different? Do you approach things differently? I do. I do. I find myself treating it more like school a little bit, where mm -hmm. I, when on New Girl, I would just show up. Like, I, I would wake out. I, I sometimes I wouldn't even shower. I had a shower in my trailer, so I would <laughs> I call time. Was, you know, literally, I'd be like, be out the night before <laughs> sometimes. Like, you know, like, uh, I, would, I would roll out of bed, hop in my car, drive to the set with flip flops uh, on some shorts and no underwear just get just as bummy <laughs> as i want to be because they're going to put me in costume anyway yeah. i don't have to have my script because we improvise a lot we figure stuff out we you know we're a, we're a squad so we can come together and, and we're in a rhythm you know what i mean yeah more of a relaxed kind of a more of a, environment exactly. yeah. but when you're the lead of a show if and you behave that way and the show doesn't work your behavior probably had a lot to do with it meaning mm -hmm. You, you gotta you can't go out the night before you gotta focus you gotta make sure you get enough sleep you gotta you know keep your script on you you gotta make yeah. sure you're our show we that we were all like that the first season and zoe was like that throughout the whole series yeah she was very much so like on top of it you know yeah. character notes character adjustments making sure because if, if, if the show sucked if it failed they would they would say zoe de chanel's show failed yeah so if you know, so for me, I made sure I'm, I'm not, I wasn't out, we filmed in Vancouver, I wasn't out drinking, I wasn't out partying, I wasn't hanging out. I didn't have an off day because I, I'm in every scene, I'm in, you know, every frame of it. So you have to 
yeah. I'm more collaborative with the with the with the director. I'm I'm having lunch, dinner with the director on on like yeah. the weekend. Um, I'm uh, I'm reading the script over and over again. I'm rewriting. I'm making adjustments. I'm call. I'm having. I'm asking the DP, the the cinematographer, like what lenses he's using. I'm I'm figuring out you know what the camera is doing emotionally mm. you know what i mean like why why is the camera moving this slow yeah because if the camera's moving that slow that means i don't have to be as big that means that they're going for a moment oh interesting to, yeah these little things very that you, interesting but when you're the lead you have to make sure it works otherwise you don't get a second chance at that type of stuff you know so, yeah um very excited for people to see it, it, it you know I, I got a chance to see the first episode and it's yeah, the show's crazy. So I'm really excited. I can't about wait. It. Yeah. I can't wait. Um